USS Tortuga's crew recently had the opportunity to travel to Iwo Jima, Japan in order to participate in the 62nd anniversary of the historic battle. During the ceremony, service members paid their respects to the American and Japanese who fought and lost their lives. Iwo Jima is not visited by the average person. There's very few Americans that ever get to go. Uh, so I think in a way you become part of history and it's a very humbling experience. Many of the sailors received a chance to go ashore and experience the island firsthand. It wasn't something that we had to watch on TV or behind a glass that you couldn't touch. You were actually there. Your feet were on the same ground that soldiers before you fought on, before we were even born, fought on. While on the island of Iwo Jima, Tortuga sailors participated in community relation projects where they helped preserve the grave site for two sailors whose remains were recently discovered. It especially hits home because it was uh, Navy and of course the Marine Corps was there as well, but when you know it was two Navy sailors and preserving their site so others can remember it was uh, really moving. While traveling to Iwo Jima, Tortuga's crew watched movies and held trivia contests related to the battle in order to familiarize them with the history of the event. To let us know exactly the reason why we're here. It's not just about pulling in and out of ports or getting in the way and being away from your family. There's a reason why we're here. The ceremony takes place annually and brings together American military and civilians with Japanese on the same soil they fought on. It was a, it was a humbling experience for everybody and I th everybody came back feeling very positive about it. Burke thinks the sailors on board Tortuga gained a respect for World War II history and the positive relationship that America now shares with Japan. Seaman Brandon Myrick, Sasebo, Japan.